Michael Jackson's family is now saying justice has been done two and a half years after his death. The doctor convicted of killing Jackson with an accidental overdose got the maximum sentence on Tuesday, four years in prison for involuntary manslaughter. And as national correspondent Ben Tracy reports, he also got a stern lecture from the judge. Dr. Murray became involved in a cycle of horrible medicine. In a blistering rebuke, Judge Michael Pastor called Dr. Conrad Murray's actions a disgrace to his profession, giving Michael Jackson the powerful anesthetic propofol in exchange for $150,000 per month. Some may feel this was a medical malpractice case. It wasn't. It was and is a criminal homicide case. The prosecutor argued Murray was so reckless, he deserves the maximum sentence. The defendant was playing Russian roulette with Michael Jackson's life every single night. And Conrad Murray was administering propofol in that reckless, obscene manner. I heard, you know, I heard. The judge even implied that Dr. Murray made this recording of a drugged Michael Jackson so he could later blackmail the singer. That tape recording was Dr. Murray's insurance policy. It was designed to record his patient surreptitiously at that patient's most vulnerable point. Pastor says he gave Murray the four-year sentence in part because he never showed any remorse and says Jackson demanded the drug that killed him. And where Dr. Murray says he feels betrayed and entrapped by Michael Jackson. Yipes. Talk about blaming the victim. Michael's not coming back. The Jackson family did not speak in court, but their attorney did read a statement. And as his children, we will grow up without a father, our best friend, our playmate, and our dad. Dr. Murray's attorney argued that living with public scorn is punishment enough. Dr. Murray, for the rest of his life, whether he's a greeter at Walmart, he's still going to be the man that killed Michael Jackson. Despite the four-year sentence, Dr. Murray will serve at most two years behind bars because of overcrowding here in California. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.